<laughs> for three seasons, Mike Carlson has won the hearts of viewers worldwide for his role as Mikey Politano <laughs> and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Oh, as the lovable construction you. worker who sweeps amazing. Titus Andromedon off his feet, the three-time Emmy-nominated show returns on Netflix for its final episodes this week, leaving viewers to wonder, will Mikey and Titus end up together once and for all? Here's a look. Hello, Michael. I'm glad I caught you during lunch. Nah, this is a union-mandated spaghetti break. What's up? I know we're supposed to hang out tonight. To watch E's top 10 wig fires. <laughs> but I can't. I forgot I had dinner plans with my boyfriend. I didn't know you were seeing anyone. Oh, I'm not seeing anyone. I'm seeing someone. Do you know Tad Fry? Do I? I just drafted him in my fantasy contractor league. I feel so bad for canceling. Why don't you and Blandrew, the, sorry, Andrew, join us? Wow, we'd love to, but we can't stay out too late. Andrew has to get up early because of the Asian markets. Mm. I prefer to go to the Asian markets at night. That's when they throw out the old crabs. Everyone, please give a warm Bill Bunch welcome to Mike Carlson. Thank you. Mike, I'm so excited you're here. On Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt is one of my favorite shows of all time yeah. because I am a huge Tina Fey and Robert Carlock fan. Me too. And Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt really was one of Netflix's first big shows, at least their first big original comedy. So what it's been like to be a part of the show, and like, can you tease anything for these final episodes coming up? Um, I really don't want to give away any spoilers just because I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Yeah. I, I love the show just as much as anybody else. And also, to be honest with you, we finished over seven months ago, so I don't remember anything. <laughs> right, because it's part two of season four. It's part two of season four, right. and we shot everything all in one swoop, so we've all kind of been away, which is really nice, because you get to go back and be like, wow, well, oh yeah, we did that thing, that's yeah. beautiful, yeah. Um, and how did you land this role, which has grown considerably <laughs> since when you first were on it, and now you've become a major character? Uh, well, I, uh, I auditioned for 30 Rock, yeah. um, and I, Got a construction worker role there. <laughs> and then they cast me on Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and they forgot that they cast me. No <laughs> uh, and So was it on purpose? No, it was not on purpose. <laughs> and, I, and I got on like, set. Hmm, they were like, he is a good construction yeah, worker. Yeah, we, they, we like him. We He's like not him. a construction worker. <laughs> we like him. So they brought me back, and uh, I get on set, and Robert Carlock was like, uh, I totally forgot that that we cast you. as a con He's like, I'm, so I'm sorry for pigeonholing you. <laughs> oh, and I said, no. you know, you and Tina can... Pigeon as yeah. you, you want. So, uh, and then I, yeah, you know, I think that first, the first couple scenes in that first season were really beautiful and just so well written and, and they translated and people, you know, kind of spoke to people and it just moved forward from there. And I think I understand their comedy, timing is really important yes. and um, just being able to show up and be prepared and be ready for whatever. Absolutely. And why do you think um, fans resonate so much with Kimmy and the, the whole show in general? Because, you know, in the world today, it's about love, you know, and the show is about love, and there really is not a false moment in the show. You know, we, we want to um, show the good in the world. We want to show the good in people. There is good in people. Um, people can change other people's lives without even knowing it, and that's what Kimmy does, and that's just kind of the through line of the whole thing, you know, just love and, and hope and, and friendship. And love is a huge part of your storyline. Mikey yeah. and Titus are one of my favorite couples. And I know at the beginning oh, of you. season four, they be decided to be friends. So I know you won't tell us how it ends, but what are maybe your hopes or dreams for them? Um, I think something, one, one thing I will say is I think that the writers have figured out a very real and uh, organic way for these two individuals to uh, move forward with their lives, uh, something that makes sense and something that is real in the world and also for the people. And uh, I think that's all I'm willing to, yeah. to give you today. That's fair. It comes out on front. Do you guys that's drink Pinot Noir at all? Can I you would... say that? <laughs> uh, we mean at Titus's. We drink plenty of, plenty of <laughs> Pinot Noir. He has a rosé now that's wonderful as well. <laughs> so buy that rosé. Yeah. Um, plug, plug, plug. Plug, plug, <laughs> plug. <laughs> and oh, another thing I love about the, the show is in terms of representation. Yeah. They have these two men who seem very different. Mike is very kind of conservative, and, and Titus is Titus Andromeda. Titus Titus so why do you Andromeda. think that's important that the show shows that all different people can come together and like doesn't really separate them? Like I love that they're this kind of you know odd couple. Well, I think that's honest. You yeah. know, I think it's real with with the world and you know, I think the best relationships in my 
experience have been ones where the people are very different, mm -hmm. and they bring about they bring out the best parts of, of each other, right? So, uh, when you have good writing, that's what they do. Right. Figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. And there's so many amazing cast members, including yourself, on the mm -hmm. show. So hilarious too. Thank you. And I'm curious if you have any like particularly funny moments from uh, like behind the scenes that you could share with us. Um, well, there's funny moments from behind the scenes. You know, I I don't really uh, just with Titus. I mean, just you know, we are literally laughing. Mm. Uh, through takes, uh, we are literally cracking each other up, and we've been doing that for four years, and that's one of the things that I'm going to miss about this thing. Um, yeah. Just, just that camaraderie with, you know, Carol and Jane and, and Ellie and, and Titus. They're just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, and um, that's so nice to hear. Um, and I know we, we talked about 30 Rock, but working with Tina Fey, yeah. um, can you share a little bit about that? I mean, she's such an, she's such an icon. Tina, uh, when I rapped, Tina was the first person to come up to me, take a selfie with me. She <laughs> is uh, the type of boss that you uh, always want to work for. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if they ever want to do something else with Kimmy Schmidt, I am down 150%. I will run through a wall for those people. They are, <laughs> they are the best bosses, and, and uh, I really, I, there's nothing. Yeah. Whatever they want. Whatever they want. I, I'll sell my soul. I feel that yeah. way I'll do it. She can have me. Yeah. 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 yeah, she's really, and she's just uh, a wonderful human being, and, and uh, I think it's important that people know. The best in the business. They do, but. Yeah. 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 Clearly you loved being on this show. I so did. how was it shooting that final scene? Like was it emotional for you? I'm not ready. I'm not ready to go there. <laughs> um, no, it was um, You're a good actor. <laughs> oh, that it was, was fake? I was like, wow. Wow. I was there for you and you were just faking Thank me. Thank you. Out. I was oh. looking for tissues. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we gotta help them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank well, you. How was that last scene? It was uh, as you would expect. I don't know. It was uh, uh, scary and and exciting and uh, you're sad and you're ex and you're kind of freaked out and you have to find a job and <laughs> you know, but it was it was everything that I hoped that it would be. Uh, it, it's very weird because we literally finished like seven months ago, so I'm trying to backtrack through my yeah, mind. You're like, what and is like this show? wait, so what? So, so what did we it. shoot last and what did we do? But I'm I'm just really excited for everybody to see it. I you know. Yeah. Well, looking to the future, you're in a movie uh, that's going to be with Billy Crystal and yes. Ben Schwartz called Standing Up, Falling Down. Tell us about that. Yes. Uh, Billy Crystal plays a alcoholic dermatologist, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and Ben Schwartz is a failed stand-up comedian uh, yes. from Los Angeles. Sorry. <laughs> um, and he runs back home to Long Island, and uh, they meet at a bar, which is my bar. And it's just kind of about how they learn from each other and help each other grow and help each other kind of figure out life and become better people. I think it's a really great script, and I'm really excited about it. Yeah, it's not cool. We're yeah. so excited for you. Mike, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you so, this much. Is so much. This is so fun. You guys are fun. You guys are fun. <laughs>